Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be looking at how to properly band our combs and coat kings. So this is a pretty common question. Um, how do we exactly put those rubber bands on our combs and coat kings to be able to be more effective in gripping and pulling hair when we're carding our dogs? So let's dive right in and take a closer look at how to do that. So today we have our Mars Coat King and just a regular metal comb. We also have some thin rubber bands as well as a thicker rubber band that you usually find on your vegetables like asparagus or something, keeping those together. So these are the best ones because they have a wider surface area and they're usually smaller around than the thinner ones. So they're much better and easier to use, but they're also harder to come by. So we're gonna be showing both examples here today. So we're gonna start off by taking our Coat King and that larger rubber band. As you can see on our Coat King, we have this cutting edge of the blade. So there's multiple blades on this and the inner side right here is the cutting edge. So we don't want to actually cut coat. We just want to grip any loose hairs that might fall out regularly, like we're brushing our dog, but just a little prematurely to make sure any loose hairs come out. And that's what we're doing when we're carding. So by using a rubber band, we are covering up this cutting edge of the blade, as well as the rubber band acting as a gripping agent to be able to grip and pull that loose so we're going to take this rubber band and place it over the cutting edge of our blade so you can see it covers that sharper portion and then just depending on the width of your rubber band you can wrap it around again or just go on one side we're going to just wrap it around an additional time with this one So our rubber band is nice and secure. It doesn't have to be perfect. Mine's a little twisted, which is totally fine. Um, we want to just make sure that it is mostly, if not all, covering that sharper portion. This dulls up over time and mine's pretty dull in general. So I'm really using the rubber band as a gripping agent more so than to cover that sharp edge. Um, but now the hair is going to slip through this top portion of the teeth and be gripped by the rubber band and anything that might be a little bit loose will just come out pretty easily. So that's the Mars Coat King and the Greyhound comb is pretty similar. I'm going to take two rubber bands and you're just going to slide them through the first tooth and then just go back and forth through the teeth. Just alternating the sides, just kind of weaving it through the teeth. Nothing too crazy. And this is gonna do the same thing. You can comb your dog um, at an angle. And we're gonna be using this comb on the top coat, not like anywhere near the furnishings because it has that rubber band that is going to grip the coat better and therefore pull out anything that might be loose. All right, so at this point, I made it 
all the way down the section of teeth that are a little bit wider spaced out. And I'm just gonna take that rubber band and start sliding it towards the base of the comb. Once my rubber band is slid all the way up towards the base, I'm ready to use it on my dog. You do not need to take a rubber band and stack them all the way up the length of the comb because ultimately the only part that's really gonna grip and pull hair is this edge um, that you see right here that's gonna be touching the dog. So if anything, you want more length rather than width on your comb as far as the rubber band goes. So then I'm gonna take this and hold it as I would a carding knife right against the coat and go with the grain of the coat instead of like combing, like you would normally use a comb. You're gonna use it more at an angle, um, like a carding knife. So now that we use that wide rubber band on our Mars Coat King and that smaller rubber band on our Greyhound comb, I'm gonna go ahead and take this wider rubber band off the Mars Coat King just so that I can show you what the thin rubber bands look like on the Coat King and a little bit of an easier way to place those on as well. So I'm gonna be taking three rubber bands and sliding them up the handle and have the front section right here taut while holding the back of the rubber bands. Then I'm going to take them and just cross them over and then place them over the cutting edge of the blade. So it'll make an X in the back. As we can see, it just has less coverage. So our wider rubber band is able to wrap a little higher around that. We can always take more rubber bands and add them, but um, in general, the wider rubber band just does a little bit better of a job. Also, these tend to snap and break a little bit easier than the thicker, wider rubber band. So I hope this video was helpful in explaining how to wrap our Coke Kings and our combs with a rubber band to be able to better grip our coat when we're carding, as well as to prevent any breakage or cutting of the coat. Um, so I hope that this was helpful in discovering more about how to do that. And if you found this helpful, let me know by liking this video, subscribing, and commenting down below. Let me know if it was helpful or if there's anything else that you think you might need help with learning more about when caring for your English cocker. <laughs> Thank you guys and have a great day.